What's going on guys and girls? You're back with Phil. It's been a long time. I took a break from the whole YouTube social media thing. I actually went out and bought myself a house. And we're officially all moved into this said new house. And I figured it's about time to make a, another fishing video. It's been a few months. Now we're just now getting ice on the water up here in Maine. So it's not time to be ice fishing yet. You definitely don't want to be walking on the ice, but you can't cast either. So it's kind of downtime to in between fishing. So I was digging through my truck the other day and this stuff is an absolute mess. I mean, pockets open, stuff just everywhere. So we're actually just gonna pull it all out, put it on the table, decide what I got uh, want in there for next year. I got some new stuff downstairs I'll bring up here we get to put in and uh, we'll just take out all the crap we don't need. Get it ready for next year. So stay tuned, hopefully this won't be too long. So this is mostly my salt water box, we're not really going to screw with that right now. I'm just going to set it over there and we got these little dandies. You can't find these come time to go striper fishing up here because when the stripers are on, they're on. And people just go and buy them all out. So I was at Cabela's the other day and picked up two of them. So we're going to put those in there at some point. Uh, these are kicking around. Probably go in here. It's just stuff's a mess. So I don't really have a good way of doing this. So as you can see, we've got enough soft plastics to supply a very small army. We don't need that many. A little bit of swim bait bodies. Spinner bait trailers. These are all Sankos. I probably don't need that many. I don't even use flukes, so I don't even know why flukes are in here. I got some ribbon tail worms. I probably haven't used those in two years. All of these, these logic baits are awesome, but I don't ever get a chance to use them. Swim bait box, that's pretty much fine. Ain't nothing wrong with that box. Oh, we come to the top water box here. Get out of your light. We come to the top water box here. I think that is supposed to be over here somewhere. Somewhere. Like in there. Good enough. Yeah. Oh, I was looking for these the other day. That's cool. So yeah, we got top water box here, and I'll have to go through, and I'm in your light again, top water box here. I'll have to go through, because these are all the random lures just through the bag and the box and stuff. So I'll have to sift all those out. A couple of frogs in there for the top water box. I fish a lot of frogs. And then we'll move up to the spinner baits, chatter baits, and a lot of jigs, because I throw a lot of jigs too. Uh, and then we're at the cranking box. I don't do a lot of cranking, but... Try to get into it every once in a while. And then the terminal tackle box, and actually, all of those look pretty much okay. This one's kind of a mess. This top order definitely needs to be dealt with because a couple frogs and stuff sitting there. But for the most part, that's all of it. Let's see what I can cut out and stick in this thing. The old box. Out of date box. Oh, look at that. There's a frog in the Salt water box too, that's funny. <laughs> We're gonna pull that one out too.
Alrighty, so we pulled some stuff out. Going back into this stuff is still a good portion of the Guggen baits. We got some Zoom, trick worms, lizards, uh, some small fluke-ish. I don't use flukes at all, but I'll put these small ones in there just in case. Uh, big pack of dingers, Bass Pro Shop, fresh now as you can see. Same of these. These gold dust ones are great. Some actual dingers, black and blue. Actual dingers, probably green pumpkin. Yep, green pumpkin, chartreuse tip. Oh, let's come back over here. We get some swim bait bodies and some spinner bait trailers. I use these ones most of the time. Uh, swim bait box looks pretty much the same. I don't think I played with anything. The, we'll come back down here, as you can see. Now we got my popping frogs. And we've got the Logix pad slashers, I think is what these were called. Uh, and we've also, ow, that was a hook, if you'd believe it. We've also got these, I don't remember who makes them. Um, I got one there somewhere. Oh, Lunker Hunt, right there. Sitting up top by Deadpool's head. Or the tip of his sword, or fucking handle, whatever you want to call it. But that's who makes it, Lunker Hunt makes these. I don't like them personally. I think they're too hard right here. But I like these. I like the popping action, if you know what I mean. Um, so top water, I use spooks occasionally, not really. This box didn't change much. It did get another spinner bait in here because I had one sitting over in the corner, but I don't use those kind much. I use the War Eagle ones now. That's why I have backups. Um, I didn't put anything in the cranking box yet because they're all sitting right here. One, two, three, four, five. Those are going into the box. I'll take them out in a minute and put them in. The terminal tackle box just got cleaned up a little bit. Uh, most of this stuff is probably junk, so I'll probably end up throwing it into the plastic bag. And this stuff will all go back into the box. I'm actually just going to put these in that box in the container until I need them, because there's no point in putting them in there until I need them, right? So we'll uh, see what everything looks like when it's all together. So we pretty much got everything boxed up. All the, oops, oops. There we go. All the soft plastics I need, the ones I don't use much. Uh, those Rapalas, all my backup hooks, War Eagles, line, scales in there, uh, terminal tackle box, and swim bait box. Swim bait box goes right here. These go in the, oops, in the side pouch. Terminal tackle goes over here. And then it goes, jigs and, oops jigs and chatter baits and stuff that's going to be <clears throat> my jigs particularly lower on the ground uh, or I should say the water, water column lower on the water column and then you have your crank baits and stuff which would be a little bit higher up in the water column and then I have top water which is obviously top of the water column so when I open my bag I immediately know terminal tackles over here swim baits are over here if I want to play with them and 
I can start at the top of the water column and work my way down, or I can start bottom, work my way up, either way. And then obviously I gotta have this for backup because I'm not putting any plastics in here because it's full of junk. And we'll just slap these little guys. Perfect. Now we get almost hot water. We good to go. Now we just gotta get some ice fish and then that'll be the next video is me getting my ice fish traps ready to go. We gotta check the shack over, make sure the ice auger's running, and then we be ice fishing pretty soon here, ladies and gentlemen. So please like and subscribe if you wanna see some more videos. Like I said, we be catching some fish through the ice soon, I promise. I will do my best to get back on this YouTube thing. Now that I got this whole house thing figured out, I can get back to making videos for y'all. So please do like and subscribe. I do appreciate it. Drop me a comment down below if you got any questions or just want to say hi. Because I will respond. But we'll catch you on the next one.